morning, Quadcopter 101 here. And today's shout out goes to Herundu de Suiza. Herundu was first to say first in one of my recent videos, and thus wins this shout out. So, congratulations. Good morning, Quadcopter 101 here with a review of another neat device for flying. This is the Beta FPV VR02 FPV goggles. Now, what are these? These are really intended for beginner pilots, folks. Um, they're very easy to use, very simple to use. Notice that there's no antenna on these, in fact. Actually, the antenna is an internal patch antenna that uh, actually provides you pr very good range as long as you keep the front pointed toward the drone. Um, but again, this is intended for beginner pilots, uh, those who... You know, they're first uh, flying their first FPV drone. Hopefully, it's a tiny whoop that you're flying as your first drone. Uh, these would be more than appropriate for uh, flying uh, that type of drone, such as the tiny whoops. Now, other thing about this is it's very lightweight. It's only about 300 grams with this nice sponge on the front. Um, it's very small, and I want to talk about the shape here here shortly. But again, very lightweight, uh, very well padded. So, th you know, the feeling on your face is, it feels relatively comfortable to use. Now, the screen on this though is a little 4.0, you're not going to be able to see this, but let me turn it on here, but it's a little 4.3 inch, 800 by 400, 180 pixel screen inside there. Now, I mentioned that, notice the shape, this thing is very small, okay, it's a small sized um, goggles. Now normally, when you see small sized goggles like these, that makes it very difficult, especially, you know, the view distance from your eyes to the screen would be relatively short normally, okay? And the problem with that is it help, it's kind of difficult for people to focus on that short of a distance between the screen and your eyes. Now, to improve this, they have put in a telescopic, or not, uh, yeah, periscopic <laughs> lens in here, periscopic mirrors that uh, the way this works is the screen is actually on the top of the goggles projecting downward and then there's an angled mirror like this that projects the image to the back then there's another angled mirror in the back here that projects the image forward through the angled mirror that comes like this the, the end result is it increases the distance to about to here using the periscope uh, the telescope am I saying it right periscopic view so it increases the uh, focus distance out to about here for your eyes, making it easier to focus. I'm not saying it's going to make it perfect to focus because I am severely uh, nearsighted, folks. And I, I still had a little problem focusing, but I was able to focus and fly with this. And with that in mind, I'm going to demonstrate, uh, we'll fly this down in the basement here. The way I'm going to do it is I'm just going to put this up to the screen like so, and let you see through my camera what the... Uh, um, goggles are, are receiving along with uh, I'll be flying with a different set of goggles that actually has a ch the ability to record uh, the video from the drone that we'll be flying. Um, things that, other things I forgot to mention on this, this has fast auto scanning capability. You press this button here and it will zip through the channels very quickly to find the channel that your drone is actually flying on. With that in mind this also has 48 channels of reception with bands A, B, E, F, race band, and L band. Um, it is powered by a 3.7 volt, uh, 2,000 milliamp per hour battery that supposedly gives us about two hours of view time, which is pretty darn good view time. Now the downside that I see about this, as mentioned, you know, I, I still had a little bit of difficulty focusing, but the other things are, there are no other controls for this. Let me turn it on and show you here. We'll turn on the goggles. The only menu you get with this is the menu for the uh, auto scanning capability. Let me turn it on. Quick press. I think. Am I pressing the right button? Probably not. There we go. There's the scanning button, the channel button. Now you can adjust the bands and the channels individually with the two buttons to the right and left of the scan, or you can just press this, the auto scan and we'll right, here. Let me turn it on again. You got to hold it down and watch how rapidly that goes through all 48 channels to find a channel that's clear. Okay, now all these green channels that you see here are all clear, clear bands. Um, obviously it selected one that was not so quite clear, but again, we're not receiving anything right now. So, well, that is the Beta FPV VR002. Let's take this down into the basement and fly it with one of my drones and see how it performs. So I hope you enjoy this flight.
Good morning, Quadcopter 101, and welcome to the Quadcopter 101 Flight Test Facility. Okay, we are going to demonstrate the uh, goggles, uh, mainly its reception uh, quality. Now, I've flown these with uh, the goggles alone, uh, with the VR02 goggles, and um, I have to tell you, you know, it, it's I was able to focus my vision on the uh, screen, uh, even though my eyesight is bad. But again, I'm nearsighted, folks. Farsighted folks will probably have uh, difficulty doing that. Now, that being said, the image quality that I'm seeing with these uh, goggles is not the best, but you wouldn't expect the best with this, you know, beginner's goggles like that here. Let me get going here. Now, what I wanted to do, though, is demonstrate the reception quality between the two uh, by flying around the house. First, we'll fly down here in the basement. Let me see if I can get the feel of mob light here. I'm not going upstairs until I get a better feel with the mob light. But we're going to uh, check the reception quality between the two. I'm going to fly right over the goggles right there. Fly over me. So, again, we should be seeing uh, the difference in quality. Now, I'm flying using my VR or my VRD2 goggles. <laughs> Got to drop it there, folks. Sorry. Uh, hold on while I do the walk of shame. <laughs> this won't take long. I just want to write it. But I do. There. Where's my camera? <laughs> walk of shame walking back. But again, here's the setup I got. The way I'm doing this, folks. I got my camera pointed at the goggles. And that way, uh, you know, we can see the reception from the goggles. Um, it'll be hard to determine the quality based on that setup. The quality of reception, but again, we will be able to see the reception. Now, I do want to fly, fly it upstairs. You know, greater range from the uh, drone. And in, in that case, I'm going to have to focus a little on my flying here, folks. I'm trying to talk and fly at the same time. It's like ch chewing bubble gum and walking at the same time. Okay, careful. I want to go up the stairs and shut my mouth while I do such. There's my dog. And my wife. Perry Mason's probably on right now. Okay, I'm still receiving with my goggles, but I don't know, you know, I'm, I'm not seeing what what the VR, VR o, o2 goggles are seeing. Why not do that? <laughs> Please, Lance, face up. Yay! <laughs> okay, how did I get over here? Really, I don't know how I got over here. Okay, but we should have seen if the uh, VR02 goggles was receiving while we were up there. So, for the remainder of this, let's just fly around down here. And actually, I'm probably going to go into... This is hard to fly in um, stabilized mode down here. Get, going upstairs, is, it, I have to be in stabilized, but down here, I prefer to be in acro, air mode. There we go. Let's try air mode now. Yeah, that's better. I don't know what it is with stabilized mode and in, indoor flying, but let me get the fuel for air mode now. Going on pull. But I, I think we're seeing right now, you know, the difference in reception between the two. Now, again, keep in mind that the VRO2s are beginner's goggles. Um, they're more than appropriate, I think, for a new flyer to be flying FPV with. Okay, brand new fly. But as you progress, you're gonna to wanna to probably increase the uh, quality of your goggles. Yeah, there are better goggles out there, but not at the price of the VR02. So we're gonna call clips here shortly. First, I wanna say, how you like my shirt today, folks? <laughs> there I go, upside down, and I don't have it set for uh, turtle mode. So uh, we're gonna call it quits there, folks. Um, again, let me go get the uh, drone, pick it up, and again, we'll see the setup of my goggles, my VR2s. Now, these are expensive goggles <laughs> versus the cheap stuff. It's it's not bad, again, for a beginner to learn to fly with. I, I think it's more than appropriate. So if you're you know entering into the field of uh, FPV and you don't have a lot of money to spend, 
yeah, these are more than appropriate for you. So, hope you enjoyed this flight and review. This is Quadcopter 101, signing out. Hi, Quadcopter 101 here again. Hey, if you want to get your own shout out in one of my future videos, make sure you subscribe to my channel. It's real simple. Just go to my channel page and click on that subscribe. And also, make sure to click that bell button right next to the subscribe button. That way you get notified when I release a brand new video immediately and give you a chance to get that first shout out. So, give it a try, folks.